recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As many of you know, this is National Police Week. Law enforcement officers throughout our country are gathered here in our nation's capital to remember those that have fallen in the line of duty. As a former sheriff and police officer, I couldn't be more proud to be part of this family. Unfortunately, last year, we lost 120 brave men and women, and this year we've already lost 41. When tragedy strikes, as it recently did in Boston, we're reminded of these officers' selfless courage. Yet we often forget that these men and women are at risk every time they report for duty. Every time they kiss a loved one goodbye, they never know if it's going to be for the last time. And day in, day out, they put their lives on the line to keep us, our communities, our towns, and our cities safe. For this, we owe them a debt of gratitude. And so in honor of these law enforcement officers who made the ultimate sacrifice to keep us safe, please, could we have a moment of silence? Members will rise and the House will observe a moment of silence. Without objection, five-minute voting will continue. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, the unfinished business is the question on agreeing to the Speaker's approval of the journal on which the yeas and nays were ordered. The question is on agreeing to the Speaker's approval of the journal. Members will record their votes.